Hey, lovely people. This is day four of Charya, and we are doing evening meditation. So wherever you're watching this from, according to your time, just see what time is there now and be aware. Be aware of your body. Be aware of your breath. And be aware of the place you are in and all the people who are there in your life. So start from the person you love the most and then see if you can expand the same love to each and everybody in your life. Whether they did some ill to you or they hurted you in past, you extend the same love to them. Now the question may come, how can we extend the love to someone which has caused ill to us, or we perceive that as something not good to us. Because if you won't give them love, you're creating hatred, resentment, and that's not going to do any good to you. So let me give you something which will help you to love each and everybody irrespective. And you can imagine this is a single mom saying this. So mostly in people's life where they're single or they are having a fight with their partners or whatever perceived wrong was there in our life. See, even in that case, if you can forgive the other person, not to justify that you are wrong and they are right, but to keep yourself in ease, to be able to relax in love, to give everybody benefit of doubt. I guess from the place of love only, you can create. Create anything which you desire. And now question comes, what do you desire? Because desires are the hidden prayers. Whatever is there in you, and you want to accomplish that. So God doesn't give us desire which he cannot fulfill. And desires are the hidden prayers. Like when I'm saying this, God has the power to know everything. And I would say something on top of it. Something which is like next to level. God only creates the desires and he knows everything. All our desires are a way to connect with the God. And I trust, I trust that whatever is there as a desire in me is, is being fulfilled. Whenever it comes to me, it comes to me, but that's already deal done. Mm -hmm. Imagine itself like you're going to a restaurant, menu is in your hand, and you pick a couple of items. And by the time, whatever time it will take to come to you, what, what are you going to do? Are you going to get irritated, agitated, that why isn't coming, why isn't coming, or you are damn sure that whatever things are there in the menu are so delicious that it's worth waiting. And you ordered it in the first place. Maybe you tried it before or you have this habit to try new things out wherever you are, or maybe you have a recommendation from somebody and you want to try this. So all of this, whatever that has brought and whatever energy, space, consciousness, me and my body can be, to be able to receive with ease anything other than that, will you destroy and uncreate times God's zillion? This is the clearing statement, as you all know by now. But be clear the energies which are not helping us to receive. And this prayer, this spell, the clearing statement, clears the energy 
and brings you in an energy which is so receptive. And the only thing is trust. Trust the process. Show up daily. For you to see the effect of clearing statement, you have to say it. It will take 30 seconds. And if you have lesser time, say pod and pock. Pod and pock is the short form of clearing statement. I repeat, clearing statement is to clear, delete, destroy anything which is not in your favor. Eat it. So whatever is not in my favor is going away. It'll move mountains. It'll move people. It'll bring you, create new situations for you to thrive, to enjoy everything with ease, peace, joy, and enjoy the glory. Which brings us to magic mantra. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. So when I'm saying this clearing statement, if you're here with me, it's for everybody of us. It's for each and every one of us. And that brings us to the end. So Sanmeet is here and it's so good to be with you, Sanmeet, right now. So I'm saying some things. I was about to conclude this, but let me say, and I'll send you the recording also. So I'm saying clearing statement for you. <laughs> and it's like Sanmeet special. So whosoever is here, so I would like, let me conclude that whosoever is here, I'm saying it for everybody, whether you're watching this recording or you're doing it live live. What energy, space, consciousness, magic, miracles, mysteries, possibilities can me and my body be to be able to receive everything which is good for me, everything which is creating love, abundance, peace, joy, Anything other than that, will you destroy and uncreate all that times got serious? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and park, all nine shorts, boys, cohorts, and beyonds. What this is doing, this is clearing the space and putting you in a greater space to be able to receive with love. And at times we say, we see, we have seen the power of forgiveness. So I would say start from yourself. Forgive yourself for not knowing things. Forgive yourself for knowing things in a way which is causing something which is not in alignment with the ease, joy, and glory. Forgive yourself. And then think of one person you love the most. Could be anybody. Your pet, your parents, your loved one, your kids, anybody. Think of them. And then bring that same person. Think of the, the same person you love the most. And now think of one person who's creating something perceivingly. You're perceiving that this person is creating taking your ease away, creating something which is not in accordance, in alignment with the ease, peace, and joy. And now give this person the same love. And you may feel that it's easy. You may feel that it's super difficult. And in case, whatever the case it is, you say, I am ready to forgive myself. I am ready to forgive others. 
I am ready and receptive for ease, peace, joy, abundance, wealth, glory. I am ready. For energy, space, consciousness, magic, miracles, mysteries, possibilities, can me and my body be? To be able to forgive easily, to be able to love easily. Anything other than that. Will you destroy and uncreate all that times God see there? Sometimes we don't know what's there. And many times I would say we don't know what's there beneath. So this statement will clear everything which is hidden. And you need not know. And see if that has created some space for you. Pardon, Park. Pardon path, pardon path, pardon path, pardon path. So by saying pardon path, that's the short form of clearing statement. We are clearing all those energies, stories, considerations, which we don't know. Even God, just God knows. And those are stopping us from creating the bright future the loving reality, the truth of the love which we are. That's creating all that which is not that. That's destroying all that which is not the love, ease, peace, joy. So pardon pock is to destroy anything which is unwanted and still there. And we are not aware that's still there. So we are saying, magically, please, will you destroy and uncreate all that? Yes. Blessing the love to all of you, especially the person who needs it the most. Blessings and love to you. Thank God. Thank you. And that has brought uh, that has brought us to amazing space and we're receiving graciously. So thank you for this day four nighttime meditation. And wherever you are, be blessed and keep receiving. Okay, yeah, I could see yes. And thank you so much, Sanmeet, for having for showing the courage to be able to come here and joining us as my companion this time and be able to contribute. Thank you. Love you, girl. And I love you, all of you who are watching this right now, whether it's recording or the live. Thank you.